Hello, how are you doing? I'm so excited to be with you today. It's another lovely week. Happy Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in case you are watching the live. You can drop a comment. In case you're watching the replay, you can drop a comment. In case you don't know me, I'm Obo Hillary. I'm an online business coach and social media expert. Today I'm here to share some value. I entitled my topic is how do you define your journey looking back? Can it be measured as success? How do you define your journey looking back? Can it be measured as success? Thank you once again for tuning in. It's all about curveballs. Life is all about curveballs. And 2020 has quietly, frankly, been one big curveball. Many people have had to put dreams on hold change your goals and get clear on what's important to them. The reality you are currently facing may look a lot different than what you had envisioned for your year end. Success can be measured in many different ways. And as you reflect on your year, it's time to ask yourself, how do you measure success? How do you measure success? Success can be measured as one, how well you adapted to changes. Success can be measured as how well you adapted to changes. This year has been full of intense challenges. You may not be doing what you thought you would be doing this year. But each obstacle you overcome builds one of our greatest strength. We can have each challenge builds one of our greatest strength we, ha we can have. That is adaptability. Adaptability. Adapting to challenges or adapting to challenging situations allows you to take control of your life which ultimately helps to achieve your goals. Although you may have felt like certain areas of your life are out of control this year, look at how you adapted and grew in the face of adversity. Two, success can be measure, measured by how much your skills and knowledge have improved. Success can be measured by how much your skills and knowledge have improved. You have a deep reservoir of ability and potential within you. You have a deep reservoir of ability and potential within you. When you take the time to hone in on your skills and expand your knowledge, you will feel closer to achieving your goals. Don't fall into the trap of comparison. Don't fall into the trap of comparison. Try to only compare yourself to your past self and track the goals you've made as an individual. You can measure success not just by getting a promotion or starting a new project but by tracking how you have improved overall. That is it. Your personal and professional life we overlap. Excuse me. So when you develop your skills in one area, the effect we pull out to education and experience, you increase your skill level and your ability to succeed in your field. Think of all the lessons you've learned, both physical and professional. If you have listened, learned, and implemented, if you've listened, learned, and implemented change for the better, that is success. And number three, 
Success can be measured by how much time you spend doing what you love. Success can be measured by how much time you spend doing what you love. How do you define success? How do you define success? Success is often associated with a fancy job or salary. But of course, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That is the truth. If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's not to say that you won't need some quick stamina and a solid work ethic to get you where you want. But spending time doing what you love makes the process that much more easier and enjoyable. Your conscious habits and activities help increase your personal development. Spending time doing what you love helps bring you closer to seemingly unrelated goals. By increasing your quality of life, when you are feeling fulfilled and empowered, you will be more creative, helping you reach professional goals more effect efficiently. And number four, success can be measured by how people you respect would describe you. Four. Success can be measured by how people you respect would describe you. One of the most fulfilling ways to measure success is by reflecting on how the people you respect the most would, would describe you. Ah, uh, thank you for starting in the would describe you. When people in your life talk about you, it speaks to your character. The more enjoyable you are to be around and work, work with, the more doors we open for you. You want to strive to always be a better version of yourself. I thank you for tuning in, Leslie. Thank you so much. You want to strive to always be a better version of yourself today. That is success. When you push yourself to make a difference in the world, to be significant, and to have a positive impact on those around you, success comes naturally. So ask yourself, are you working towards becoming the person you want to be? Are you working towards becoming the person you want to be? Then um, how much progress you have made? Number five, success can also be defined by how much progress you have made. Last and certainly not, not the least, Take a look at what you have accomplished. Take a look at what you have accomplished. You don't have to finish the big goal to be considered successful. Success can be measured in increment. Success can be measured in increment. Each little milestone achieved. Each little milestone achieved. Yes, can be measured as success. Every tax cost of a to-do list takes you one step closer to reaching your biggest aspiration. That is success. One little move in the right direction can ripple out to help you reach your biggest dreams. What steps are you taking daily to help you become more successful, if I may ask? What steps are you taking daily to help you become more successful? Weekly? Monthly? Ah, Jami, thanks for tuning in. What steps? Because it all adds up. So ask yourself again, how do you measure success? How do you measure success? Remember, when you start comparing, you are blinded with your little moves. You are blinded with your little progress you've, you've done around you. That's why comparison is a deadly trap. Look around you carefully and you see your accomplishment. Remember, every little step takes you to the right direction 
despite challenges you may have faced. Now is the time to take action. Now is the time to take action. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you. Follow me for tips, tools, and training to professionally build your network marketing business online to get targeted prospects and team members. Follow me for tips, tools, and training to professionally build your network marketing business online to get targeted prospects and team members. If you love to learn more about working effectively and getting real results in your business, click on the link below to get access to the free 10-day online recruiting bootcamp. Obtain your email to get it now. Thanks for tuning in. If you love to learn more about working effectively and getting real results in your business, click on the link below to get access to the free 10-day online recruiting bootcamp. Obtain your email to get it now. Thanks for tuning.